Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Every now and then during one of my YouTube videos, I may have to show the desktop of my iMac. And when I do, people could see that I have a lot of different external hard drives plugged into my system. And when people see this, invariably somebody will comment, why do you need so many external hard drives? Well, the reason is I do a lot of different projects and I'm often doing these projects simultaneously. And I'd like to keep all the work for a specific project that is the files and the folders on its own hard drive. And if the project's very important and often it is, I'll back up those files and folders to another hard drive. And if it's really important, I'll also back it up to the cloud. Well, what happens is after I'm done with that project, I kind of forget about those files and folders. So a year or two later, even three, four, five years later, I have these projects that I really don't need on my local computer anymore, and I have it on multiple hard drives. Well, there's a tool that is in Clean My Mac that I really wasn't paying attention to that could help me with this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go up to the menu bar and click on the Clean My Mac icon. And I'll go down here then and just open Clean My Mac. What I do, you'll notice on the left-hand side, is everything we could do in Clean My Mac. And the tool I'm talking about is called Space Lens. Now, apparently, this was in Clean My Mac uh, for years. I never used it. And then they removed it for some reason. And they've recently reintroduced it and they've improved it. So let me click on Clean or click on Space Lens. And then we'll notice there's a drop-down here. And by default, it will be on your internal computer's hard drive. And for Mac, it's usually called the Macintosh hard drive. And I usually don't put my projects on the local hard drive. I keep them on external hard drives. So I'll open this up. And you can see that all of those hard drives that are on the right-hand side of my desktop are here below. And also, I could just go to a specific folder if I'd like to. Now, I happen to know that the hard drive that I have named Morganti 1 is really messed up. There's a lot of junk on there and a lot of really old junk on there. So let me just click on that and click scan and then what will happen is it will scan that hard drive and then it will kind of give you this graphical representation of what's on that hard drive and the larger folders will have a bigger bubble for example the capture one folder has 233 gigabytes but if you look at the smaller folders and i hover over them you could see that FCP training is 44 gigabytes, so that's considerably smaller. And that's Final Cut Pro. When I was learning to use Final Cut Pro uh, like a long time ago, I bought a course, and that course is right there. And there's the Aperty A to Z. That's um, a course that I did that's available on my website for sale. And when I was creating the course, you could see that I have a folder of it there. And then I have this one that's uh, the Photoshop Virtual Summit 6. That's from uh, last year, I believe, maybe the year before. But anyway, that you can see there's stuff there. And you can see they're all over here on the left-hand side as well. And let's roll it open. You can see there's other items. And you can see there's Nick and Amber's wedding. That's one of my sons. Those are images that I didn't take. Those are uh, images from the photographer that I downloaded onto my computer. And I have them on that hard drive. I'm not interested in deleting those. Here's some scans from a film camera I have, a Yashica Mat 124G. Here's some pictures my son Joe took. These are his pictures. Um, here's updated course material. I actually don't know what that is. That's one of my courses that I did, and I updated it, and I put stuff there. I probably should have labeled it a little better. Um, here's some other stuff, and you can see that as we go through, there's all this different uh, different things that are available. There's Photoshop Unleashed. That's another course. But you can see how this hard drive is a mess. Now, here's something, Exposure X4. Exposure um, is, a, is an application like Lightroom that I haven't used in several years. And I believe they're up to X7 or X8 now, maybe even X9. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while. X4 is really old. So if I wanted to get rid of this, I could just click on this little check mark here, and then I could click on Review and Remove. And when I do, then it will give me the option to just remove it without reviewing it. Or I could click right here and it will open up the finder window. And when it opens up that finder window, it opens up to that exact folder. And then I could double click on it and I could look through here. And these are some images that I have 
that I worked with when I was using Exposure X4. And you can see that the images are like from 2019 and 2020, so they're very old. Now, I suspect that I probably have all these images in another folder somewhere that I was using with uh, Lightroom or with On One or with another application. So I, as a matter of fact, I'm very confident that all these uh, images are accounted for somewhere else. So I could just click remove and it will just remove these, um, these images just like that. And then it makes the little music sound and it's done. And I just freed up five, 0.1 gigabytes on my hard drive. So this is a great way to kind of go through your hard drives. If you don't have external hard drives, if you just have a lot of stuff on your local hard drive and you want to see what's biggest, well, this Capture One's the biggest. I haven't used Capture One in a couple of years either. So I could click on this in the same thing. I could go through the individual folders inside of Capture One. Oh, there's a Sony one when I uh, had a, I don't have this camera anymore. It was a Sony a7R 4 And you can see that there's a lot of images in this uh, folder. So I could go through, just keep drilling down. And if I'm um, ever more interested in seeing what's in it, you can see that on the left-hand side, there's some very large TIFF files uh, that are in this folder. But I could go through and I could, again, uh, remove anything that I, feel I don't need anymore that I know is backed up somewhere else. Most often I have a lot of important stuff backed up to the cloud so I could just get rid of it. So anyway, I wanted to do this video on this uh, feature space lens because it was something I never ever used. Uh, I never really even looked into it, but it is something that I'm going to be using going forward because I really got to clean up these hard drives. I got stuff everywhere on different hard drives and I want to figure out what I have, what I don't need anymore. And then I'm going to, you know, move it in a more organized manner. Cause like I said, it's pretty haphazard right now. And I want to have it maybe um, a hard drive with all of my projects on, and then another hard drive with those projects backed up. And then another hard drive where I have um, images that I use with specific applications and then another hard drive with something else and personal images, maybe something like that. And I'll figure it out. I'll map it all out. But I'm going to use Space Lens to figure this all out. So I'll have more information in the description below this video. And thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.